Namaste, Shambla Didi. Namaste, everyone. Good morning and welcome to the morning session. Ji, Namaste, Sunil Ji. Namaste, Sabiko. Good morning. We are doing exercise one, observing the self by the self. And we are on step five. Um, though we are all familiar, but we'll quickly recap the five steps so far. In step one, we were observing the imagination, particularly the feeling in the imagination. Step two, we asked whether this feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not, whether I want to continue with this feeling that I have at any moment or not. Step three, we asked the question whether we were comfortable with the feeling that we had at any moment or not. Step four, we asked the question, who is deciding this feeling that I'm having at any moment, which is making me comfortable or uncomfortable? Who is deciding this feeling? Is it the situation outside, the person who I'm interacting with, the other human being? Or is it myself? And we were able to see that I am responsible. I decide my feeling regardless of the situation outside. I can choose to have the feeling that I have at any moment. In step five, we ask this question, if since I am the one deciding this feeling, what is the basis on which I am deciding the feeling? And yesterday we looked at these two charts. The lower one, when we are not taking guidance from within, when the higher activities, we are not aware of them, then we tend to base our desire, our feeling, on whatever is happening outside. Because we are not able to ensure our feeling, there is no guidance from within. And we are largely looking outside. And so we get influenced by the outside, whether it be through preconditionings, whether it be through sensation, whatever may be the situation outside, we seem to get influenced by it and we base our feelings on that. But as we make effort, make effort in the sense, we become aware of that feeling and we start referring to our natural acceptance. Slowly, this helps us to open up or to become aware of the higher activities within us. As we become aware of the higher activities within us, now we start taking guidance from within. As we take guidance from within, from the B1 block, now our feeling starts getting decided or we decide our feeling on the basis of the B1 block. So with the activity of contemplation, that we become aware of, we start focusing on this feeling of relationship within us. So rather than expecting from other people the right feeling, we start ensuring the feeling within us on the basis of this activity of contemplation. Now our focus shifts from what kind of feeling I can get from the other to what can I do to help the other in the relationship. So I start focusing on my participation in the relationship in the larger order. As the higher activities start opening up further, I am able to understand the harmony in nature. I am able to understand that each and every unit in nature is in a specific harmony. It is self-organized. It continues to be in that order, in that harmony. And further, 
when I'm able to become aware of the activity of realization, when I'm able to see everything the way it is, I'm able to see that all of this existence is in the form of coexistence. And all that I have to do is to be with it, to live with it. So this, um, even though we may not be aware of the activities in the B1 block right now in our living, yet the glimpse of that is available to us in the form of the natural acceptance. So we will find that whenever we have feeling of relationship, whenever we have feeling of harmony, whenever we have feeling of coexistence, we are in line with this B1 block. And yesterday we asked to reflect on this several times in the day to see what kind of feeling we are having several times during the day. Check what is the feeling you are having? Is it one of relationship? Is it one of harmony? Is it one of coexistence? Or is it one which is otherwise? And see if you're feeling comfortable or uncomfortable with this feeling. Yeah. So whenever you observe that you are having the thought of another person in your imagination, Observe your feeling for this other person. How did you decide this feeling? Was it based on right understanding? Or you can say natural acceptance? Or on some assumption in the absence of right understanding? Some sort of preconditioning you may have. Reflect on your interaction with this person. How was your feeling towards this person during that interaction that you had during the, the earlier time? Reflect on your feeling towards this person when he or she misbehaves with you or what we call disturbs you or irritates you. How are you deciding your feeling towards this person now? Is your feeling based on right understanding or on some assumption in the absence of right understanding. So we can just look at this. This is uh, split up into two, three parts so that we can try to observe uh, in depth. We'll be doing this exercise all day today, observing our feelings for other human beings, how we are deciding this feeling. Is it based on right understanding or some assumption, if we can see this? What you will notice is that if your feeling is based on natural acceptance, you will have the right feeling for the other person. You will feel comfortable with them. And at that moment, you will be calm. If the feeling within keeps changing or is making you uncomfortable, then what does it mean that we don't have the right understanding and we need to work for this right understanding, isn't it? So we'll try to do this exercise all day today. Namaste Kumar Bhaiya. Namaste Didi. <clears throat> <clears throat>